story of a man losing his identity. This man is a victim of identity. It's theft. Wow, I could win twenty thousand dollars just from answering a few simple questions. All right, name. Yeah. Uh, social security number. Phone number. Um, ooh, okay. Credit card number. I don't know that I'll take my head. Alright. Guys, I think I got a problem. I kind of think somebody stole my identity. So, what information did you put in on this website? Nothing much. My name, address, phone number, social security number, bank account number. You should never do that. Credit card number. Have you been stalked lately? <laughs> anyone following you in the shadows late at night? There's three laws that protect that. There's the right of privacy, which protects name, address, email, where they live, and social security number. The right of publicity protects your name, likeliness, or other recognizable aspects of one person's, and the Patriot Act. This is an act that puts on financial banking institutions that protect a person's identity from being stolen so someone can pre can't pretend that they are the person and can get into their bank accounts. One method that could have been, can be used to gather your personal information is phishing. It's basically when a person copies a website exactly uh, like Facebook and they put your personal information and claim they're you. So, what can I do to protect myself online? Seems like a dangerous place. Well, you should never give out your credit card unless you're sure it's a legit site. And definitely not a social security. That's not a good idea. And keep your passwords private and change them frequently. So does that mean like I'm never allowed to go online anymore or anything? I don't know too much about this. You can talk to my assistant. She's very wise in the situation. You can still go online. Just be careful of what you type in. Your name's Tanner? No, My name's Tanner. Hi, Tanner. What's up, man? Yeah, you have a good day. That might have been the guy who stole my identity.